Hello and welcome to the next part of this Python Control Structures course from How to Code Well. My name is Peter Fisher and in this tutorial we're going to be extending what we did in the last tutorial where we created an infinite loop. And an infinite loop basically checks whether this condition is true. This is exactly where we left off in the previous tutorial. Today though, what we're going to do is manipulate these values during the iteration of this while loop. And therefore, we're going to change this condition, the condition being x is less than y. To manipulate this condition where we're saying x is less than y, we can do that from within the body of this while loop. So for example, every time we iterate over this condition, we can also be incrementing the value of x by one each time. And notice this is saying x is less than y. Well, if we're incrementing this value, at some point, x will no longer be less than y. So let's go ahead and do that. The first thing we need to do is create another line within the body of this while loop. Next, what we need to do is have x plus equals one. And what we're doing here is we're incrementing x by one each time. Now, this might look a little bit peculiar, especially if you come from other programming languages, but in Python, this is how we can increment an integer. So an integer being a whole number, we've got this set to be 10 at the start. What we're doing here is we're checking whether x is less than y, and then we're saying x plus one. So we're saying x, which is 10, plus 1 is 11. Every time we iterate over this while loop, we're incrementing the value of x by 1 each time. So this will be 10, that will then be 11. That will be 11, that will then be 12. That will be 12, that will then be 13, and so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and run this in the terminal and see exactly what is going on. So down here, let's type Python and then the, uh, the tutorial, which is tutorial two, press enter. And we've got X is 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and then 20. Notice that we've stopped at X is 20. And this is because this condition is no longer true once it gets to 20. So X is less than Y. Remember Y is set to 20. Every time we iterate over this condition, we are incrementing the value of X. And therefore there will become a time when X is not less than Y. In this case, X is equal to Y. So this condition is not true. This condition therefore is returning false which means that this while loop no longer runs. There may be times within a while loop that you wish to skip over certain values. So for example, in this case, we may wish to skip over the value of 15. However, we might want to continue and still have 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20, but just skip over 15. Well, this is something that I'm going to be demonstrating in the next tutorial. So please make sure you subscribe to pick up that tutorial that will be coming in the following weeks. Thanks ever so much for watching. Happy coding, everyone. And I'll see you again next time. Cheers. Bye.